In this lesson, we're going to take a look at some problems where you have to find a missing score or number. So if you take a look at the first problem, it says Chloe earned scores of 78, 72, 80, and 79 on her first four math tests. If she wants her mean to be at least an 80, what score will she have to earn on her fifth and final test? So we're looking at mean here, okay? And mean is the average, which means you add up all the numbers and divide by how many you have. So Chloe's scores so far were 78 plus 72 plus 80 plus 79, and she's going to be taking one more test, and we don't know what she's going to get on that, so I'm going to call that X. So if we take all those scores and we divide them by how many scores there are, and there are five tests, we're going to divide that by five, and that should give us the average, which she wants to be at least an 80. So we're going to make that 80 there. So now we just need to solve this. So to solve for x or get x alone, we need to do the opposite of dividing by 5, which is to multiply both sides by 5. So when I do that, these 5 cancel, and I get 78 plus 72 plus 80 plus 79 plus x equals 400. And then the next step, I'm going to combine my like terms here. So I'm going to add those numbers up, 78 plus 72 plus 80, plus 79. And when you do that, you get 309 plus x equals 400. So then the last thing I have to do is subtract 309 from both sides to get it alone, oops, to get x alone. So these cancel, and x equals 400 minus 309, which is 91. So that means that Chloe will have to earn a score of 91 on her last test to get the average of an 80. So she'd have to do pretty well. Example. So this one says, Josh earned scores of 85, 92, 79, and 91 on his first four math tests. He wants his mean to be at least a 90. What score will he have to earn on his fifth and final test? So again, in this problem, we're looking for the mean. Okay, which means we have to take all the scores and add them up. And he's going to take one more test, and we don't know what he's going to get on that, so we're going to call that x. And then we have to divide it by how many scores there are. And he's going to have five tests total, so we're going to divide that by five. And that should equal what we want the average to be, which in this case would be 90. So now to solve this, we need to undo, we're going to solve for x by undoing the dividing by 5, so we're going to multiply both sides by 5. So these cancel, and we have 85 plus 92 plus 79 plus 91 plus x equals 450. And then again, to solve for x, we're going to combine these like terms, so we're going to add 85 plus 92 plus 79 plus 91, and we get 347 plus x equals 450. And then the final step then is to subtract 347 from both sides. So we get x equals 450 minus 347, and we get 103. So it means that Josh would have to earn a 103, a score of 103 on his next test. Um, to get that average up to 90. So if the test is only out of 100, that actually would not be possible. Um, but if the test is more than 100 points, then he might be able to make that happen. Let's take a look at another question. So this one says, David earned scores of 85, 92, 75, and 78 on his first four math tests. He wants his median to be at least 85. What score will he have to earn on his fifth and final test? So. In this one, we're looking for median, which is where you put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So I'm going to do that. 75, 78, 85, and 92. And he wants the median to be an 85. So 85 is right here, and he wants that to be the middle number. So basically, to make that happen, this, his score on his last test needs to be anything bigger than 85 because 85 or bigger, so because if he earned an 85, that would go here, and that would make this number the middle number. If he earned an 86, that number would go here, and this would still be the biggest number, okay? If he earned something bigger than 92, like 93, then 85 is the bigger number. So as long as he earns something 85 or higher, 
that's going to mean that 85 is going to be the median. So that's what the answer is. He's got to get an 85 or higher. Get one more example. This one says Jake earned scores of 85, 83, 79, and 72 on his first four math tests. If he wants the median to be at least an 80, what score will he have to earn on his fifth and final test? So if we put these in order, we have 72, 79, 83, and 85. And this kid wants his average to be an 80, okay, which would be in here. Okay, 80 would go in there. And so if he wants his average, or excuse me, he wants his median to be 80, then 80 does fall in the middle here. So that means he would actually have to earn an 80 because that would go right here. It would be in the middle, and that would make that the median. Okay? So this student needs to earn an 80 on his final test. So there you have some examples of how to find the missing scores when we're dealing with mean and median problems.